Phoenix, señores. Let's do it, man. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Mercer here, and I'm back as your host of Square Enix Presents. Today, we have a special E3 edition of the show for you, with new game announcements, yes. updates, and exciting news from our studios across the globe. Ahora sí. so let's Amante el RPG. World premiere of a brand new game from IDOS Montreal. Ah, yeah. We hope you enjoy the show. Of course. Hmm. Se viene Tekken. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? Mm. Something that's a part of you. Like your name. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No, Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. So we got fine. No, copy, copy. <laughs> no. I know we clearly need a plan. El copy, el copy, man. Hablen, hablen. ¿Qué le pasó a Drax? Tiene sarna en la espalda, qué mea. Tiene roña, tiene roña. ¿Qué le pasó a su espalda, man? Keep your pants on. Although it could be used as a distraction. <coughs> no, mames. Por favor, hablen, hablen, hablen. Pa, 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 pa. Make your major. We're all professionals here, right? A la verga. Yeah, work something out. Peter. You had one job, Quill. I did exactly what. The more no killing teammates. That's who. It's literally in your contract. I made no such commitments. Guardians of the Galaxy. Por favor, compren nuestro juego. <laughs> Por favor, comprenlo. Hi, my name is Olivier Prou, senior producer here at IDOS Montreal. For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and reimagine it into a single player, story driven, third person action adventure game. It's our own fresh take on the Guardians, and something that's really unique to our game is that you get to be Peter Quill. As Star-Lord, you're constantly in the middle of the action as you try to lead this band of misfits. But today, I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. All right, let's do this. I've always loved <laughs> Marvel's <laughs> cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them the and galaxy. loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. I <laughs> went back with the help of Bill Roseman, the editor, and kind of cherry-picked characters from Marvel's past. The opportunity here was to build a team, but to make it all underdogs, so that the reader would think, oh my gosh, how is this team going to survive? And that became the Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which we loved working on. I remember the first time that the Marvel crew came to Montreal, we were showing them the design of the characters, how they would look, and they stayed hmm. silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head, it was a minute. I was like, oh my God, like they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel and Eros Montreal share and have in common, and that we knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Eros were kind enough to show <laughs> me, <laughs> that that is cool, fantastic, <laughs> and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the Guardians are constantly around you and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the Guardians will also challenge you and make decisions on their own and you will have to adapt to it. You are literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. 
The decisions you'll make will have lighthearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. Gamora, no killing teammates! Says who? It's literally in your contract! I made no such commitment. You are playing as Star-Lord, and you're using your blasters, and you're using your jet boots. Star-Lord is really empowering. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has his elemental blasters that have different powers as well. And mm. on top of all of this, he can use the unique abilities of his guardians. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Gardeners of the galaxy? Mm. What? No! The story is about a group of misfits, the Guardians. In our world, they've been together for less than a year. They create something on a small scale that looks insignificant. And as they progress through the story, they discover that they created something really big that threatens the galaxy. There are a lot of very interesting villains in the Marvel franchise. And when you're starting to work on a story like this, you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well-known, but some that are also not all that well-known. What Otto is getting so right about them is capturing what it's like to be a misfit family. <laughs> They're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're gonna see planets and characters that are gonna blow your mind. Interpreting it in its own way, I think makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make the best version of Guardians out of that. They made it fun. They made it rock and roll. They delivered everything you would want in a Guardians game. Come on. Llegó Megan. Oh my god, ¿qué hacen acá ustedes dos? Los Guardians of the Galaxy, está el intro, mira. No, 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 esto no es para ustedes, es sopa. appear to be 6,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. What about selling Gamora's crap? What? Hmm. Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always a out on My us, Quill. figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. And you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. Of course, the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic mountains yeah, of Kakarot. Guys. Hmm. I think we should hear out Groot for once. I am Groot. Groot. You know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, <laughs> and you are not a monster. Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely hmm. scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we uh, we get it. All right, let's do this. Let's go <laughs> sell a monster. <laughs> you say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of this ruler. That's not how women work. Poor weather. We're flying the wrong way. No, he's not flying at all. You guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. Castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. Star Lord. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. 
We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't bode so good. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Parece skin, <laughs> hey, skin de Fortnite. La neta, güey. Parece en skin de Fortnite. ¿Te peleas con una gelatina? Este juego me recuerda a Slime Ranch A los slimes de Xbox Me recuerda un poquito a ese juego A la mierda, congelado. Desde su sumo, pone música. <risa> Qué pendejada, weón. Pone música, güey. Te pone música. Es el sumo, es el sumo, güey. <risa> Fuera que de Shrek, exactamente. Top 10 fortresses. 
Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, you Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing was looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster <laughs> face. I only got <coughs> this quote. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Moore's right. We should try selling Groot instead. <laughs> really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Oh no, más canciones de Shrek. Las canciones de Shrek, tíos. No. El rico copy. Se lo colma Pache con Chetumare, mira, eh. Fantastic. El rico copyright con todo causa, eh. Puta madre, te vamos a cerrar el canal con Chetumare, no sé que mutees esto. No, señor Scorelli, no lo haga. Así es, perro. Boom. Ahí vamos. Guardians of the Galaxy. How many times do I have to kill you? The audacity that you thought. Ay, la Abby de la sofá, mira. Bien mamada. Pero Galaxy vs Ávila Lesbiana Octubre 26 de 2021 Ordena ya Puedes tener tus muñequitos Y skin chidas Te dije que puedes putear a Ávila Lesbiana De las sofás Así es, disponible 26 de octubre de 2021 Cómpralo ya Now we're going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. First up, relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series, and then get one more peek at Legend of Mana ahead of its June 24th launch. Legend of Mana. Ay, qué rico. Legend of Mana. Escuché bien Legend of Mana, verdad? Qué van a traer? Todos los Final Fantasy en orden remasterizados, al fin. Todos, para no estés mamando. <risa> para Steam y móvil. Ayer. Nunca jugué a los Final Fantasy, los seis primeros. <risa> para que dejen de chingar. Leno, mamá. ¡Yeah! Este juego es bueno, de una chance. No sean putos. <ríe> Abel Boyun. Pata poquito. Up next, Earth's mightiest heroes continue their fight to defend the world in Marvel's Avengers. Mm. The team at Crystal Dynamics is excited to share the latest updates with you, including new mission types and a growing roster of heroes. Wakanda forever. Mabel, presenta. 
A la mierda, mira. Avengers, secure that super weapon at all costs. Cosmic energy is building up. Every second counts, people. Keep it moving. <coughs> Beautiful. Es que no se parecen a los de la película, por eso no lo compo. Es que no es Capitán de América. Ey, no le dejé morir, ya me mudé. <coughs> War for Wakanda. La pelea por Wakanda. I applaud your efforts to connect with your roots, but as a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall, I must warn you of a few things. Many eyes follow the path you are about to walk down. Uh, me están haciendo mierda bacana, ¿no? <risa> Ay, pues luego, bacana, está chida, celos, ¿eh? Yo lo vi antes de que se muera el actor y está, está chida, ¿eh? <risa> Debes verla, está muy buena. Nada que ver con las otras de Marvel. Está muy chida, ¿eh? Está chida, ¿eh? Free, huevón. Now it's time to give mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be available in the coming months. Good evening, 426. Our intelligence reports a new threat to global stability. Their reach is unlike anything we have seen before. Following Agent 47's disappearance, you were selected because of your remarkable skills. Execution must be perfect. We will strike from the shadows. Uy. And they will never know. Hit my sniper. Pero cómo mierda no puede jugar en el teléfono, güey. No sé. A sad and beautiful tale that echoes throughout eternity. The first mobile entry in the Near series. Near reincarnation. Near what? Near reincarnation. Puta madre. What? Final Fantasy. Y ahora que es móvil, ¿no? Conozco amigos que son putas hardcore en esta guada, ¿eh? Yo lo jugué, pero... Ver, es que... Es que estoy con vikingo ya y con Herton. Y con supercampeones ahora. No, no se puede.
A la mierda. Final Fantasy. <coughs> es lo que quiero ver. The Final Soldier. De First Soldier, perdón. What? Ah, pero es para teléfono. Chingada madre. <risa> Today, the team no, Platinum Games is giving you an exclusive look at the epic world of Babylon's Fall, featuring fluid combat, powerful weapons, and a unique art style. Ya me emocionaba por ver ah es móvil. Built over a thousand years, it was meant to be a tower of dreams. But for a thousand more, it was seen as a tower of ruin. Persevering through fire and ice, and the coldest of winds, eventually the tower became a symbol of unrelenting ambition. That tower's name is Babylon. Babylon Fall. Sí, los dedos están hasta la hueva. Does the savior of Neo Babylon stand among us? Vamos a quitar, güey. Está hasta la hueva. Más que ocupe espacio, güey. To die, then I'll die for hope, for what little hope there may be. Seen through the veil at last, have you? We're all prisoners of our subjective reality. Believe only what you see, and you like to end up seeing only what you believe. Con me copyright me muero. Not, but two paths lie ahead. Ascend to the heaven. Above the tower or fall, like this one now before you. Babylon fall. Now begins its tale of both hope. Suena and como Welcome to Soul Age. Una pendejada así. Play 5. <coughs> Play 4 de Play 5. Lo vemos no. <laughs> que se quede con su pinche Outer World 2. Uy. Ni era automata, 2017, mira. ¿eh? Yo me lo acabé y saqué todos los finales. Mm, no lo jugué por posero. Muy buen juego. このセプトニクスイッチはまあプレイヤーがえっとまあ時にはに向かってえっとアクションえまあ追い求め続けることができるとプレイヤーはまあストーリーを追いながらダンジョンをクリアして上層を目指していくと入手する装備や素材を集め
発売後も定期的に新しいコンテンツを提供する予定ですようやく皆さんに改めてこういった形で、うん、あの発表できたのと本当に私たちも嬉しくなっていますしまさにこれから開発の佳境になっていくのであの精一杯頑張っていきたいので皆さんも引き続き応援よろしくお願いいたしますラカイダのバビロンフォールロンデレベルデレビューのアベイラブバビロンフォールプトコンベット Now let's check out the next major entry in the popular Life is Strange series, True ah. Colors. The team at Deck 9 is ready to give you a deeper look at Alex <laughs> Chen's psychic power of empathy. But first, here's a look at the Life is Strange remastered collection. Feels so weird to be back. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. What do you remember about us as kids? I think about us as little pirates <laughs> running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. We are awesome! Come on, let's dance! Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> We both got scars and it's so hard to That's understand. Rachel Amber. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Oh, good, you're here. Rachel saved my life. She was my angel. Something happened to her. We have to find her, Max. Holy shit. Max, what's going on? No! Whoa. I discovered I could reverse time. What? What the hell is this? Max, help! Whatever's going on between us is special. Step back before you regret it. Ben, Max! Then I realized I had a choice and the power to change everything. Arcadia Bay is on the edge of disaster. Time to change time. Whatever happens, I'll always have your back. Always. Hi, I'm Maya, also known as MXM Tune. I'm a musician and the singing voice of Alex Chen in the upcoming Life is Strange True Colors. I hope you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the remastered collection. As a longtime fan, I know I did. You can see the love and care that Deck Nine have put into remastering both Life is Strange and Before the Storm. This collection features improved character animation, lip sync, and visuals, breathing new life into these two beloved games. Back in March, we also revealed the next major game in the series, Life is Strange True Colors, a small town supernatural mystery. Alex Chen must uncover the truth behind her brother's death, using her psychic power of empathy to unravel the shocking secrets of Haven Springs. Today, we have a first look at Alex's unique power in action. Here's game director Zach Garris for more. Alex's psychic power of empathy is integral to the story of Life is Strange True Colors. It impacts every relationship she builds, and every decision she makes. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. For years, Alex has been unable to shut out the strong feelings of others. The fear, sadness, and anger of those around her, leading her to believe her power is a curse. In the wake of Gabe's death, Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth is to embrace her power. I can't believe this is happening. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. From the very start, you can use Alex's power to focus on brightly colored auras to gain an insight into people's emotions. Gabe was too young, just too young. These valuable insights deepen Alex's relationships with the folk of Haven Springs, as well as sparking new dialogue options and events, as here from a scene very early on in the game. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. Alex has uncovered a secret that Mac wants to keep hidden from his long-term girlfriend. And now he is terrified that Alex will reveal it before he can talk to Riley. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. 
So please, help me out. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. Listen. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. But are we still together? Are you serious? I need to get back to work. Sure, Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. When Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, she can reach out to actively connect with that person's emotions. This generates yeah. a no sí, entonces, ¿cómo puedes? supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can experience fragments of thoughts and memories to get to the root of their issue. But not every emotional crisis can be easily dealt with. Some carry a dangerous, even life-threatening amount of power. He's dead! I wish I were too. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. This anger could kill her. What if <laughs> I could just take it away? Using <laughs> Alex's power is the only way you can uncover the truth no, behind no, 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 no. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can? No, 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 no. Should I? How far will you go in pursuit of that truth? The choice is yours. Alex's powers look so awesome. I have no idea how I'll make some of these choices, but I can't wait to play it with you all when it comes out on September 10th. Don't forget, you can pre-order Life is Strange True Colors now. And if you choose the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. And that's it for today. Make sure to follow the Life is Strange social channels for more. El primer juego está bueno, después ya la cagaron. Ahora soy yo, la que tiene poderes. True Colors. And now, we are excited to unveil a brand new title from Square Enix oh, Japan. Nice. Japan, eso sí me interesa. Ahora sí, esto sí me interesa, por favor. Siéntese, señor. I'm here to kill chaos. That's my mission. Develop and pull that to change. No te... Ah, te ninja. Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. Boy, you didn't think it's going there and find you? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. I only know one thing. Mm. I want to kill chaos. I need to. It's not a hope or a dream. It's like a hunger. It's on vampiro. Que pedo. You're dust. You sure chaos is here? Yeah. They can only squash monsters for so long. I hate doing pest control. This is the Shrine of Chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. Feel the pain! The darkness is so thick I can taste it. This is it. No doubt. Die already! There was a knight who left on the same journey as you, but never returned. His name was Garland. If you could, I would be grateful if you looked for him. Chaos. I'll crush you! No when you're beaten! And who are you? We're here to kill Chaos. <laughs> the prophecy's very own warriors of light. Really? He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. It's Garlic! No. I become chaos. <clears throat> a stranger of paradise. A final fantasy origin. What? A bold new for Final Fantasy. Pero dice Origin, weón. Demo available soon. 
para PlayStation 5. I'll leave you with a look at some of the amazing Square Enix titles you can play now, as well as those to come. Yeah! <coughs> to be the bearer of bad news. <coughs> Just hit me with it. <coughs> Con la Puffy. They're gonna do what? They're gonna do what? For spoken. Final Fantasy 16, ¿no? En Walker. Hmm. El online. Guardians. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you. I'll call you. Thank you for joining us today. Eso fue todo. Keep an eye out for news about our next Square Enix presents. I'm Matt Mercer. See you next time. Wey, eso fue todo, neta, wey. <ríe> me está hueveando, me está hueveando. A ver. ¡Ja, <ríe> es una pendejada! Me está hueveando, ya, 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 Ahí te sale Final Fantasy. Ahí te sale este. Parte 7, Final Fantasy. Parte 2, perdón. ¡Ya no quiero esa mierda, mi nombre!